She's known around the country as the hiccup girl. And that's exactly why prosecutors don't want Jennifer Mee doing high profile interviews just before she goes on trial for murder next week. Our Chris Trinkman joins us live from the Pinellas County Courthouse tonight with more on this story. Chris? Well, Jennifer Mee's attorney said that the fact that she is known as the hip -hop, hiccup girl is bad for her reputation, and she needs to go on television to tell the public who she really is. But prosecutors say that is simply a smokescreen to try and impact the outcome of her murder trial. The only agreement Jennifer Mee's attorneys reached with prosecutors was to allow her to be fingerprinted in front of the judge. After that, the state accused Mee's defense with trying to use the media to taint the jury pool. The effort to do this right at the eve of the trial is clearly an effort to attempt to influence the jury. Prosecutors asked for a gag order, hoping to prevent Jennifer Mee from talking with both local and national media outlets just days before her first-degree murder trial. State attorneys said it was no coincidence that the interviews were scheduled right before jury selection. She needs to put herself in a good light. Well, to who? She needs to put herself in a good light to the jury. She doesn't need to put herself in a good light to the United States of America on this particular week. But an attorney representing the media pointed out that in other murder cases, such as the Zimmerman trial, potential jurors who were aware of the case were still seated on the panel. It's not a jury veneer who's never heard of the case. Right. It's not a jury veneer who's seen something before. It's someone who would sit there and say, not only have I seen it, but I can't be impartial. While Mee showed little emotion during the hearing, she did smile after hearing the judge's decision allowing her to talk before the trial. The state's motion is denied without prejudice. So the judge's decision means that Mee will be able to do a media blitz of interviews a day before her trial starts. But even so, the judge believes that she can still seat a fair and impartial jury. We're live in Pinellas County. Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.